Hello, I'm back. I couldn't leave well enough alone. I figured I might as well bring you guys along for the ride. I've had a lot of questions over the last few years about this little simple thing right here. Now, I just kind of coined the phrase single lifestyle just for the fact. Oh my God, this stupid thing. All right, I don't know what's going on. Let's try to get this finished. I thought I had good service, good uh, signal. I should tell you the story about this real quick and why I did it. I originally had uh, Pixies and everybody had the Aldebarans started getting the BFS spools and they had, you know, the Pixies, the spools that come with the Pixies actually work and then they had the, you know, different spools you could get for the uh, Pixies. Well, they were just a heavier reel. So I kind of went on a kick of to take off anything that Pixie didn't need to still properly work. And I just cut off one side of the handle. I'm like, spinning reels have just one handle. Why not a bait caster? Other than what I talked about in the last video, it engaging the reel. Some of your big reels, ocean reels have always had it like that. And they have a way to, there was no way this could engage it. So what started out is just a kind of a test thing. And once I started putting it on my reels and actually fishing with it, I liked that better than the full handle. Like I mentioned, I always tend to stop back here anyway. I can just access the drag. It's easier to reach. There's no reason why I need that other one once I got used to it. So anyway, if you guys are looking to customize or add different stuff to any reel, and I'm going to put a more in-depth video together instead of just a live one, uh, I picked up some of the handles I cut down now and the knobs off uh, eBay or AliExpress. You can get this stuff real cheap, like crazy cheap compared to what some of the higher brands that you get off Hedgehog Studios and, you know, sell for. So, for instance, I got, where's the handle? You can get this handle, it comes with cork, and you can use the cork or, you know, change them out because this is the same as, or actually, no, sorry. This does not come with cork. What does this come with? Maybe it does come with cork. And then you can also get these. And all, 85 to 90 millimeters what I tend to find. Sometimes 95. I like a shorter handle. A lot of you guys like the 95, 100, 110 millimeters. But these can be picked up with bearings for $15 off AliExpress or eBay. So I picked up these and... and Another thing, the single lifestyle handles, nobody sells them. I don't even sell them. I just make them myself. Luckily for me, every time I sell a reel, whoever I sold it to, they're like, ah, I like the double handle. So I just take the single handles off, put a double one back on it, and we're good to go. So, like I mentioned, and you'll see in the upcoming video, i got a lot of different knobs and styles of handles coming that I'm going to work with. But what I'm going to do, I just got this reel, and we're going to work on it. And that's another reason why I went all Shimano. You're going to find out that some of the parts, I hope anyway, will fit from this reel to this reel. When I first got this reel, I got a deal on it, if you guys remember. I think I gave like a crazy $280 for this with all this stuff and the stock parts. So I have, still have the stock MGL spool. All of the uh, other parts, I'm probably going to take that little aluminum cap since uh, these Corrados come with black plastic looking ones. I'll put that on one of them, whichever one I feel it would be better on. I think I'm going to put this MGL uh, cast control cap back on the MGL. Take the red one, I double check the fit. I'm going to put it on this Corrado and probably this, maybe this whole handle assembly but with the bigger knob like this. I'm gonna I think for the BFS reels I'm gonna stick with that wooden one but for the bigger ones it just give me a little more uh, gripping surface I'm gonna go with these knobs and they look real good. So I'm basically gonna be putting this on that and we'll change the look and fit and feel of how I like because I don't like these big knobs. I don't know what keeps happening. Sorry for the uh, little interruptions there. So, 
that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I've only been uh, five minutes or so into this video. If you want to stick around, I'm going to keep running live and switch some stuff around. Not a lot, but I'm going to take this handle off. And another thing, if you decide you want to work on your own reels, you need good tools. You need a very good small Phillips and straight screwdriver for sure. Sometimes Allen wrenches. I do have full sets of Allen wrenches for when I need that. Uh, you kind of need a better than I have, but I get by with this guy in like a Ziploc baggie because when you put it on there, you can keep from scarring up. The stock stuff usually isn't bad. It's when you get into that aftermarket anodized aluminum. Those guys don't take much at all to scratch up. So, most of these with like a Phillips and a straight. I use the straight like to get it broke loose normally because they can be tough. And then the Phillips, it tends to get it out quicker and easier. But when I take apart what I started doing now and what I recommend if you're going to, you know, you want to do single lifestyle and you're going to cut it off yourself, I wouldn't use... Whoa! Whoa! That got away. We'll get it. Don't worry. We'll find that. I recommend do not do anything with the stock ones. How does that pop off? Because the stock ones, if a guy wanted to buy your reel later on, a stock replacement costs way more than an aftermarket one. So what I recommend is just take that stock handle assembly off completely, put it back in the box, and then order you something from uh, eBay. Well, that's tight. That's tight. Hang on. They didn't want that guy coming off. Shimano's are spring-loaded, but they're nothing like what the 13 fishing are. I don't know if any of you guys have ever owned 13 fishing stuff. When you get into this part and you take this off, there's like this crazy little spring and a thing that does the clicking part, and it is not good. So anyway, I guess just to see, i got to take that off and put on this one. I'm going to put it back. You'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I may do another live one later on, showing when I get it done. Because i got a lot of switching to do. I'm going to basically take this one, some of the red off. I think it's got too much red on it. Uh, comment also, because I can switch it back. If you think this is perfect the way it is, or too much red. And I will tell you the truth. This right here, I don't like. That is real slick. I don't like the feel of it. It looks nice, but... Compared to the stock one, which I do have, it's a possibility that that may go back to stock. So I'm going to end this video with a quick, give you guys a chance if you got any questions. If I don't answer them right now, I'll answer them uh, later on down below in the comments of the single lifestyle stuff. But I pretty summed up, you know, pretty much summed up the benefits for me anyway. It does lighten the reel up. Like I mentioned, it for me gives me a quicker, faster access to the drag. You know, it's, it's this whole area is opened up instead of having to work your way. Like on a double handle, you know, you got to work on the top or bottom because the handle's all the way across. The only drawback, and the only drawback, is if you. Or, well, for one, if you have a Daiwa with a lighter clutch or you just typically want to stop right up here, disengage, and when you throw it hard to re-engage, it can, can cause a problem there. So, it's not for everybody. Anyway, this guy's getting switched around. Whoa! Spring went flying. I'll give you guys a quick look of just how quick changing a few things around on a reel 
can do for it. It'll make it look like pretty much a whole different reel. And when I put red line on it, I'm going to use red line on this one. A braid with a mono, or not mono, with a copolymer leader. And I'll probably put the red. I think I'm going to put both the red drag star and the cast control cap on this one. And it'll make it look real good. I don't know. I could put it on that one. Put that stuff on this one. Decisions, decisions. What? Yeah, I know. I need a magnetic tray. I know. Actually, believe it or not, I had one. I have no idea where it is. I needed a bigger thing to mount the magnetic tray to so I wouldn't lose it. But in case you guys are wondering, the screw's right here. I got it. It didn't go anywhere. That is one thing. If you are working like this, be prepared to go dig around because this little screw will end up buried underneath all of your stuff. What would you say? All black type of guy, raw fiber look, but I love the knowledge you provide. Thank you. Yeah, you're that blacked out guy that's got your wheels, your windows tinted so dark they look black, and all that. Not that it's not cool. That's just not me. I'm old school. I like chrome, or actually I like polished aluminum wheels. That's why I've been debating on getting wheels for my truck, and they want like $1,500 for these painted black wheels. I'm like, what the hell? painted black wheels for that much money no so anyway I don't see any questions no questions hmm uh oh where does spring go oh my god where's the spring the spring is sprung oh here it is Just trying to sneak up behind me you guys got any questions about this metanium? This thing, I don't even know. I don't even know if I've taken this spool out or not. I was told it was a KTF spool. Is that a KTF spool or a... Yeah, I think it is. But this baby right here, it's got two brakes on, two off. That thing can fling him too. It's it does have the uh, the bearings are upgraded too. If you guys let's try to show you guys. See the little kind of like a micro BFS without any kind of covers on them. Do you guys see that one? Focus. But this baby will fling some lightweight baits also. Come on. Come on. Get get on there. There we go. Charles, are you going to come fish or just play with your toys? Leave me alone. I'm playing with my toys. And of course I'm coming to fish, but uh, today was a perfect day. Guess what? Had to work. Some of us have to work for a living. But yes, I will be. And if you guys are actually local around the Casey area, except for Grady, I don't go fishing with Grady. He cheats in the bass tournaments. Grady, you know you do. Don't deny it. Got fish tied up along the banks, like on the limb lines. But Charles, he's got a strip pit in his backyard, so he can pretty much go fishing anytime, right after work or wherever. I have to drive probably at least a half hour, maybe 45 minutes to get to any decent spot. It's like there's one little pond right up the road here, but it sucks. I call it the test pond because you can go cast and test lures. You ain't hardly catching nothing. I think I caught a few fish a couple years ago out of it. I mean, it's got little bass, but nothing big. I should have been working on this while I kept you guys here. I guess I should try, because do you guys know, I don't even know for sure if these, they look the same size, 
if these cast control caps are the same. Let's just try that and then we'll know. In case you're like me and you don't know. I'm going to take this cap off. Whoa, 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 Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Magnetic tray didn't work for aluminum anyway, but we got that one off. Can't make out. It looks like it's just a stock bearing in there. So actually, if that's a stock bearing in there, it's still riding on the thing, so the it needs to be upgraded to really get the true potential out of the reel. I don't even know I got that still on there. Let's just try it. Let's try it. Cross your gut. Cross your fingers. I can't. I'm working on this, so you guys do it for me. There's that. Got the little deal on it. I should probably switch that out with the one that goes on it. Because it looks like that's a bigger thing. I just want to see if the threads are the same. If the threads are the same, it'll work. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Let's just dive into this. Let's just go. How long? 16 minutes? All my live videos seem to be about 20 minutes. I don't know why. Because You know why? Because I talk a lot and I can't ever get anything like done quick. The only thing I can do quick is catch fish. Quick. I'm talking quick. Question wait. The ZPI or someone else make spools for the new Corrado yet? No. I tried to track down and that's why I'm thinking about buying the uh, Bantam. And this thing it did already have some scratch on it. I did see that on the Bantam MGL, there's a Ray Studio already makes a shallow BFS spool for it. So I may track one of those down, just get that spool and try it out. Because the Ray Studio, if any guys are familiar with the channel, I had it for a couple years now on the uh, the Daiwa reel, the TG, uh, TD Edo I just gave to my son. Uh oh, come on, get off of there. It's got the adapter. Okay, see, it's got that different style spring. We'll probably leave it just like that and put the stock one back on, see what it looks like. Okay, so this, it's all we need is uh, we need the spring. Yes, I'm kind of new at Shema. I've done them, but like not like you give me an Alphas. Well, actually, the TDZ and Alphas or a Pixie, I can like almost do it blindfolded. I or Abu Garcia, the Gen uh, Twos, Ones and Twos. Let's see if this fits. I think that's the same thing. Push that on. That's this. I'm back again. Sorry, that's like the third time. But we do have the little spacer that lets us run the uh, bigger handles. Which one do I want to try? Do I want to go with the black one? What do you guys think? Carbon fiber. I apologize. We have horrible service tonight. I think a storm's coming in. So there's kind of what it is. And that will fit. Let me know what you guys think. Now, this is going to have red line. I'm not sure if I like the carbon fiber with that silver or not. What do you guys think? Would it look better on this one? Just a crado Put just a kind of a touch. That's more of like a gunmetal, not a true silver on that. Let's just try it. I definitely want to put the red uh, knob on it. Even if I use carbon fiber handle, I want to put the red knob. So let's just try it with the... Get off there. Where's the good red one? This one. No, that ain't the good red one. Here it is. There's the good red one. The one I made. Polished it all up. This nut will fit on no problem see the full potential. I should have put some red line on it. There we go. I don't know. That almost looks like too much. What do you guys think? I don't know. 
this and this don't really go together. I think if you're going to have a graphite, you need a graphite, but then I'm going to put the red. So I think I'll do that. I'm not going to take time to do that tonight. These feel awesome. The trick is, though, I have to spend now. It ends up being about $20, but I mean, it's worth it for me. You can get this, a pair of these on a handle. The problem is the handle, I believe, is longer than I like and bigger. It's bulkier. I don't know if I got one in here or not. Let me see. And it weighs more than I want something to weigh. I think the, this is it, I believe. See just how much bigger and bulkier that is? And it, it just weighs more. But I think these knobs come on this one. You can get it for like 10 or 12 bucks. Uh, I believe I got those on eBay, but I found them on AliExpress also. But then I get this one with the corks, and then you have extra corks or whatever. But and then I put a knob on one of these. All right, it's almost 20 minutes. I got to get out of here. I'm driving myself crazy with uh, having you guys sit and go through all that. My horrible uh, service I've got signals junk tonight. Oh, somebody said for sure like the smaller. I think they like these smaller. These I make. I actually cut down, and it's. That's also another cheap thing you can pick up if I have one laying around. That's just like that. And I just basically put this on the shaft on my Dremel and then uh, either use a drill bit or anything, a sharp edge or sometimes a sanding stone, the corner of it. And I just whittle it, get it down, and then I just start digging grooves in as I'm spinning it on the Dremel. Oh my God! Oh my god, I'm live. I know I'm live. I try to be live. Stupid signal. I don't know what it's to blame. I did get a new phone and I got a Metro PCS now. I had straight talk before, which sucked, and this one may suck too. But I'm hooked up to Wi Fi. It should not lose signal. We went over 20 minutes, but I can't help it. We got shut off several times. So I think I am definitely going to go back with the stock stuff. Just a little bit of red, I think, will be better than a bunch of red. See, like this right here. I can already tell you that I think I'm going to like that. I'm just kind of mocking this up just to give you guys an idea. Like, and then that'll be this stock back on. Just a hint of red around. I, I don't know. It gives it that more metal look. I think I'm going to like that. Of course, I'll probably have a up there. I don't know. We'll see. That's what you guys do in the winter. You sit here and get out all of your stuff. Your tackle, your gear, and just either reconfigure or sell it all, buy brand new or whatever. This is the time to do it. We got about two months before spring is uh, going to be upon us, so that's why I'm doing this kind of stuff now. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here before it cuts out again. Uh, thanks for watching this on the Single Lifestyle and just customizing your reels. You can customize your reel without you know being a rocket scientist a machinist or any of that kind of stuff just by ordering some stuff off ebay aliexpress you can also find good cheap reels used especially shimano's there's a ton of them on there older metaniums and all kinds of stuff you know pretty cheap yeah some of them's got scratches look at the pictures real good i recommend don't use your phone use your computer bigger screen just get you know your price range and whatever you can deal with as far as a few scratches and what else that's pretty much it. I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to have in-depth on where I'm getting, actually, which ones. I'll show you where, uh, which knobs the dealers, you know, or sellers I'm buying from, if you guys want to go buy them. I've also got a bunch of cheap lures coming from AliExpress. I'll be giving them a try this season, see if any of them are worth it. They're like 50 cents to a dollar. So, you, like, how can you beat that? You try them if they work, order three or four more, or however many more. Give them a Right? Exactly. Man, I just, we're going on. Like, do we want to go for 30 minutes? No. Mm -mm. Ain't going to do it. What is that? Is that a bushing? That's a bushing. I think he changed out the bearing in the 
up here is why this thing also feels smoother than the others. I need to do that on all these. That's another thing. I've got to order uh, Dr. Trout. There's two guys that, if you want the clicking audible drag, uh, doing all right now, I think, is one of the guys. And then uh, Dr. Trout's back doing it again. Yeah, Donnie says he's in for cheap lures. And uh, Arizona, well, yeah, you do fish year-round, don't you? Like, it never... It's never not fishing season in Arizona. I'm just mocking this up just to see how well I like it going back with some. I don't know if I've got a nut out here that'll fit this thing. Yeah, if you guys are wondering what I do, like in when I do have spare time, yes, I'll sit here the whole night just switch stuff around, find something I like. I don't know. I think I think I actually like that better. Now I'll probably have. I don't really like the holes. Maybe I don't know. They kind of go. I mean, I've got options. I can use this with the cutouts. I can use the, the holes, and then I'll probably go back with the. Uh, Wherever it went. Where did it? Oh man, I'm losing everything around here. With this guy. But yeah, that's the only knobs that I, I do make. You can't just go buy those. You can't buy a single lifestyle handle in smaller size like this. You can buy the ocean ones, but not really this small. But then these. These and the cork, where are those at? Uh-oh, where's the cork ones? Well, there's some cork ones somewhere. And if you guys, any of you guys have this, like the junk box where all of your old parts from over the years, that's where all your stuff ends up being. What do you guys think? I kind of like my reels. I like different. If you notice, like I order, I get a titanium. I got a, this is the MGL. I have a 13 coming. This is the DC. I've got the K and I've got a Scorpion coming. I like the same frames, but I do like my reels to look and, you know, I like them to function roughly the same, but I like them to have their own look, you know, customize them out. I don't want to, you definitely not see me as the guy that has, you know, five or eight or ten reels of the same thing i do the rods because the rods you know try to get the same action but you'll probably see me changing the rods just a little here and there they already look a little different some have different reel seats but you'll see me maybe on the ones that maybe need a shorter handle or need more balance i may go with a full grip instead of a split grip I want to know my opinion on the scorpion well as soon as i get it i'll let you know i'm thinking i'll love it because it's basically these it should have overall better bearings because it comes straight from japan the japanese i don't know if you guys ever watched the real test and you guys watch the real test but uh, he even will tell you and when you open up a japanese reel they tend to have that almost burnt look on the bearings it's a little you know not the biggest in the world but a touch better quality overall bearing but i think it does i watched also the tackle advisor you ever guys watch him uh, he talks about like it was an upgrade. They have a bushing in here. Uh, uh hell no. A bushing is never an upgrade over bearing, especially if you're a freshwater guy. Uh, when the bearing goes out or starts squawking or whatever, we'll change it out. A bushing is not as free as a bearing. Don't let anybody fool you there. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. You don't believe me? Go uh, order all bushings for your car and switch out any anywhere there's a bearing in your automobile. Switch out for bushing and see how long you can last. Or the Concept Z is a good one too. The uh, what else was I talking about? Oh, uh, these guys that do the shootouts and different stuff. Which, yeah, I mean, I like watching the real test too. But as far as putting a reel through its true paces, I don't know. I mean, I don't know the guy personally, but I don't think he fishes enough. All right, let me finish before I'm talking about the dude. I don't think he honestly fishes quite enough to uh, put 
any reel through a, it's good you know durability test how long will it last or rod for that matter i mean i don't well i guess i do fish a ton i try to go once it kicks in i try to go twice a week sometimes more and i try to you know put them through and i, I kind of overuse whatever i have i'll throw bigger heavier stuff than's recommended the bfs stuff i've yet to see how anybody could damage one of these spools unless you just insanely put some crazy line because i've had 10 pound test up to well probably 10 the biggest and set that drag fairly tight for like 10 pound right before it would break and uh I don't know, as long as that drag gives before the 10 pounder break, this spools, the spool, any of these BFF spools, I've, BFS spools, I've never seen would be an issue with destroying them. And as far as the braid thing goes, I'll try to explain this real quick before I get out of here. Daiwa says don't put braid on them. Like, well, braid, once you wrap braid around, it, it's there. It doesn't have a stretch and it's not going to try to tighten. What I found is if say like take mono for instance and you you wrap it on crazy tight, well it's gonna sit there the whole time it's on there trying to it's gonna want to tighten back up you know because it's it's stretched out if you put it on too tight so therefore that's where I think your spool spool could get damaged from the line setting on there, but these are so shallow and if you're running you know lighter weight I don't think it would be an issue I think the guys that are tearing them up they're putting way too probably 20 pound braid on cranking the drag as tight as they can get it getting stuck on a stump or something and yanking as hard as they can and yeah you could damage this I mean, anything could be damaged or destroyed like a bowl in the china closet right but as far as the DIYs or any of them yeah I want to go full ceramic I was going to try to get with Chuck up at a fast lane and get the either measure them or take take them one apart and take him all the bearings and he can measure them and order me uh, uh, I'd like to have at least one or two reels like full ceramic. I know the M MG Extreme 2 I had had ceramic bearings. They weren't really, you know, BFS bearings, but they were ceramic bearings in the spool, and that thing cast real great. But I don't think the TRV had ceramic, and that thing cast pretty much just as good also. I don't know if there's really much to... Once you've got a real good bearing, you got a good bearing. All right, last time I'm out of here. I've got to go to sleep. I've got work in the morning. All right, get out of here. Go bass and bonsai. Stay tuned for uh, see what these what my final configurations I came up with. I also have yeah the 13 coming, uh, Scorpion MGL. I got a cheap uh, $59 one coming from uh, AliExpress. Shaped. I think it's gonna be bigger, but it's shaped like the Aldebaran. Uh, you know the newer Aldebarans. And what else? I have another reel. Oh my god, I don't even know. I got tons of baits coming from uh, eBay and from AliExpress. And I got another order about ready to go through on a Tackle Warehouse. Mainly square bills, but a few other baits that we're going to try. Mainly hard baits this go around. If you guys remember, you saw that big uh, chatter bait and that kind of stuff. I'm pretty much good on all the... I may need a couple spinner baits. If you guys got spinner baits you recommend in a half ounce or smaller... In that split blade, like not the Colorado or the Willow, but uh, it's escaping me right now. You know what I'm talking about. The Indiana blade, I think. I'm kind of wanting to pick up a few uh, spinner baits, that kind of style, like all around spinner baits to try. All right, I'm out of here before I lose signal again. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm still here. Uh, let me know when what works best for you guys as far as a... Uh, time to do live videos. I'm thinking about doing it every Sunday night, just give a recap of what I did that weekend, if I caught fish or not, or whatever, because it takes me a couple weeks to edit fishing videos and get them out. So I'll give you a rundown on what I was catching them on that, you know, weekend and that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm out. Good night. Thanks for watching.